Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to use the pen tool on the Corel Paint Shop Pro. So the first thing you do after you get your photo up is duplicate it. I grab my pen tool which I already have selected. I'm going to select draw point to point with the breezier curve. Connect segments Great on vector show notes. When I hit my first node, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it a little bit, get little errors, arrows. I'll go to my next one and I can turn these to make them curved. And so you see that white stuff happening there. One of the things you have to do, because it'll get annoying, come over to your materials, then on your background layer, hit transparent. That option comes up with this tool. And you come back and you keep going. Now this is a process, so you go through and get close, but you'll have to go back through and make fine adjustments to get a proper cutout. Once you're done, you're going to go back through, but first we're going to go to Selections, I mean Objects, my bad. Hit um, Edit, we're going to select all the nodes. And then we go back to Objects, where you can hit Alt O, come down to your node types. And we want Cusp. The cusp allows me to go take my ears, and let's unselect everything. I have to go through here and select none now and change and I can go both directions and that's when I start fine-tuning my image. I pull them out, I add more string to it, which I do it as a string, pushing I get less and then I can curve it by moving it in different directions. So this one I want to curve and maybe add a little bit like this one, curve the other way. and fine tune everything now to make it match the lines I want. If I cover the lines and I see that little cross, I can move the node. It also selects it. Once I select it, when I see the two arrows in a circle, I can change the curve. And so I might have to move it around so I can line it up the best.
what's you get all the way around and you like it, you have to, to make a selection, come back over here and turn that back on so it fills it in. That's what the program uses to make your selection. Go to selection, come down from vector object. Sometimes it's hard to see. But if we turn this off and we come over here and we hit make a mask, show selection. And we turn off our background, there's our flower. There you go. That's um, one of the things I struggled with was knowing to turn on and off the background color so I could make the layer. You can also make a straight selection and not mask it. Have a good day.